Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the cursed estate and ready to head out once more. But before we do, I have two things that I unfortunately have to catch up on that I didn't read out in the previous episode. I do apologise. Um, for Cell's character, the Scourge, that we actually used in the previous episode, the um, the guy that we took out with Harathan, um, that's Protocol 193. I actually missed out one of the logs from his backstory. So after the initial backstory that we read out, the, uh, the last log was the Escape from Contamination, Log 5, written by Cell. Two months later, during a lapse in contamination, 193 escaped contamination, killing at least 20 staff members and injuring others. 193 fled the, uh, fled the site and hasn't been seen since. Whereabouts are unknown, but any field agents are to immediately report sightings of 193 and waiting back up. So that kind of just fills out the rest of the story as to the fact that he fully escaped and has fled to the hamlet. And I actually missed one more thing as well. Um, and this was our backstory with Marissa Mel, our Viper. The last paragraph of that, unfortunately, I skipped off as well. Basically, it was due to the way that I pinned stuff in Discord. I'd accidentally not pinned the second half of the message. But the, the backstory continues with, One day, while hunting down another one of the king's ships, the waters rose and rocked the ship um, with a clear, unnatural malice. Both ships crashed, one dropping a boy named Sven into the cold waters near the hamlet. The other, carried further away, uh, dashed violently against the rocks of the shore. Nerissa and an unfortunate handful of their men survived. Before them lay the expensive wield, uh, the expansive wield, and over the course of months, they uh, would cut their way through to the old road and walk its path to the hamlet. So yeah, I do apologise for missing those out. I just wanted to make sure that we were all caught up on that because yeah, um, those were bits that I missed off previous backstories. And we actually have another one coming here um, from Strange Wonder that we're going to read out today for a new class that we're going to actually go out and test, which is the uh, milkmaid that we brought on Maria here. So we'll get into that. Oh Maria, poor Maria. She was born and raised within the hamlet. One of the many peasants that had lived in the pitiful ignorance of the growing horrors of the surrounding world. Working as a milkmaid for the old miller, away from the town, away from the politics and the courtyard, simply remaining at her job, content and fully submerging herself in strange, um, naive beliefs of the world around her. She believed in kindness and honesty, chivalry and that, uh, <clears throat> chivalry and that many one and that maybe one day that she'll meet her own knight. Oh, poor Marissa. Her dreams were so pure, so untainted by the darkness of the world. Perhaps it was also why she remained, even after the farm got destroyed by a comet, onto the fo uh, comet falling onto it. Perhaps that why, despite standing on the second floor of an og of, of organi and organizing supplies, and as a result of being hit by the comet head on, she didn't change as much as the rest. Wow, goddamn. She doesn't remember how old she was. She doesn't remember anything beyond unimaginable pain and tingling across her body. The last thing she'd ever sense with her skin. When she woke up, she was horrified. Old Miller and the rest of the works had changed from the comet's influence. The space around the farm had distorted, transforming into strange, endless void of bazaars. Crystallized version of her old co-workers and family. She'd changed as well had turned into a bizarre statue made of crystal, broken but held together by a strange energy coursing through her body, but unlike the other monsters, her light was pure, unchanged. It was her soul that held her together, not the light of the comet. She learnt that it had been two years since everything had happened, since she'd been out far, uh, far too long, and so she embarked on a quest to heal and destroy. If she is no longer human, she can, um, at the very least, use it for good. Wow, that was a really brilliant story. Slightly butchered by me, but that is just part of the charm at this point. Uh, but still, very, very good backstory, and I'm really excited to jump on in with this class. I've actually got a team prep, uh, prepared already. We also have a diary entry from Blank Gaming here for our rookie, our Salamander, that says, I still can't believe that Mr. Big and Strong Flamer actually got put in a prison cell in the courtyard. I'm not usually one to poke fun at people or to poke fun at serious situations, but I, um, under my helmet... I'm grinning. Really? Okay. So Rookie's actually um actually kind of kind of 
a bit big headed about the fact that the other salamander was captured but there you go anyways we're gonna we're gonna head out and um jump on but we have a very very good team put together here we're jumping into this here the um the medium master level um ruins mainly because it's got the um thing from the stars and the chance for the collector so why not and we have a very interesting team first of all we have um renault and rilla because these two, brother and sister, I feel like they really need to work together. And these guys the, these guys working together is going to prove to be very, very useful. These are very powerful classes. So with Rayla, we've got the full-on crit build. 50% crit, extra accuracy. Unfortunately, Mr. Spot is reducing that crit by somewhat. But we're making up for it. Mainly going to be using things such as Thrust and Mordhau, um, Heavenly Wrath. Maybe Fortify if we get some debuffs. And then we've got um, Renault here. And he is going as the Crusader of the Light with the cold shoulder for that extra holy lance damage speed and crit when uh, above light and the sun for extra speed and crit when above light i really like this idea we're going to be using mainly smite uh, we're going to open each battle with Holy Lance. Uh, I just thought that'd be a good idea because it's going to have such high speed. With Precision Strike and everything, we should be well on our way to getting some good kills here. Then, of course, Maria the Milkmaid coming out with the Last Light and the Silver Syringe. Her class is kind of uh, more, more a heal than anything, but she's got some very interesting healing abilities, actually. So we've got our first one as our Blight, which is going to be quite nice. But the main healing abilities we've got here is the Comet's Kindness, which is going to heal and give uh, some healing over time, which is great. And then we have Dust Breath and Dust Downwind, which is uh, you can only heal from the back two to the front two. And this one's the, the vice versa of that. You can only heal from the front two to the back two. One of them provides prop, one of them provides dodge. But the interesting thing is this also provides prop. So these two at the front are going to be very healthy. And then also we have the uh, Glimmering Butterfly, which is great. We can um, clear, stun, and mark, and it's a free action. We'll only get three of those, but... Still very, very, very useful. And then my favorite class of this little build that we've got going on is we have Morgana, our Ermine Seeker, coming out with us. Uh, she's got a bit of prot on her just because her maximum HP isn't great. Uh, but she's also got the Wounded Dolly, which is going to give on attack a debuff target plus six crits received. This gives debuff resist um, minus. This gives minus damage. This gives minus prot. We have a lot and a lot of abilities to debuff with Morgana here. And I think that it's going to be very, very useful for us to uh, take her out and, and try and get as many debuffs lined up on the enemies as possible. But here we go. We're going to head out ready to uh, ready to adventure. We'll take everything we can. Of course, we have to uh, use the quest items here. We've got to take those with us. But... I think we're just about ready to, to jump out here. I've checked everyone's skills. Everyone's up to scratch. And this is going to be two level fours and two level fives. So shouldn't be too hard of a mission. But I'm excited to see how this group works together. And of course, there's the collector. Ooh, we could end up getting the collector. Could be quite difficult. We'll end up seeing how that end, how that ends up panning out for us. But I'm, I'm excited to, just to see how this group functions. I think Morgana is going to end up being kind of the powerhouse even if it is just in the debuff realm. Being able to give plus crits received and lowering enemies' damage is going to be invaluable. As long as stun uh, as well as stunning as well, stunning's also going to be a pretty big part of our kit that I feel is going to be really, really helpful. So I'm also happy to see what goes on with that. Uh, but let's uh, let's jump on into the mission and, and try it out, shall we? Be consecrated. Okay, got all, we've got to find the altar, so we've got to pretty much search everywhere here. But I, I love... I absolutely love the look of these two. It's such subtle differences in their character models, but it's so good. Like one having the helmet up, her having her arm a little higher and her sword held down. It just, it's such a good aesthetic. And here's our first battle. Let's see how this goes. And then when she gets into battle, puts her helmet down. It's just great. Destroy. This is the Holy Lance we're looking for. And look at this. This is going to be great. The, these, these guys are going to do a, a fantastic job, I think. Um, so, because this applies regen, it's actually good to just use this wherever. Oh, we got husk body already. I'm not exactly sure what that's from, but let, let's, let's find out, shall we? Immune to diseases, not affected by food, not affected by virtue chance modifiers. That's pretty interesting. She has pretty low HP as well, Maria, here, so we've got, got to be careful of that. But that's actually pretty good. So, um... What sort of damage are we getting with some of these? Uh, do, you, do any of you, neither of you have prop? Let's just go for a hit, shall we? Whip you, pull you forward, give those crits received. 
And there's a dodge. We might, we might be able to get through this. One more dodge. Ah. I was going to say, can we get through it without any damage? But technically, we can because we are going to heal up straight after this. But yeah, of course, one thing that, that I will know is we're only going to be able to use Holy Lands on the first turn. But if we were against an Unholy, that's all we need from it, really. So I'm, I'm not too bothered if we only get it on the first turn. Um, yeah, go for it. Keep on healing up. 12 for one round. Amazing. And... There we go. Finish off. Nice one, Morgana. Just, I just think this, this group is so powerful. We've been creating... I don't know if it's because the modded classes are just that good or, or if there's anything specific about it, but we've been just getting some absolutely amazing builds with some of these classes as of late. They've just been fantastic. Um, so I think we go for a stress dealer here. Um, this is a guaranteed kill. 56. So I think we go for that with a guaranteed kill. Um... And then your Blight Resist is pretty low. I mean, you're a human, so your Blight Resist is pretty low as well. That's going to do... Actually, okay, damn it. Let's just go for this. Nice throw. A throw and a Blight there is pretty good. Um, and then... Let's have a little look-see. We could lower your pro. You don't have pro. Unfortunately, the one that does have prot is stealth. Let's just do this. Go for the stun. Nice one. We've got at least one stun there on someone that deals damage as well. So that's pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, let's just go for another one of these. There we go. Another crit. I love these two together. Thank you for, um, to TA who wrote the backstory for, uh, for Rilla, who, who tied it in with Renault's. I think that is such a fantastic addition to, to the, the lore of this series. It's always one of my favorite things when stories get tied in to other members of the Hamlet. And I think TA is one of the best writers at doing that. The way that he ties stories together with, with just people from all over the Hamlet is fantastic. Cell also does a fantastic job of that as well. But TAs are always, they've always got something extra to them. They're always just fantastic. So we might as well do this because this is going to buff prop. We might as well keep on buffing prop. In fact, we should we should just do that as much as possible because it means we're going to get tons of prop, prop buffs. See, now this is what I was worried about. Um, she has the lowest HP and actually... Not affected by food could be really problematic. Um, she can heal herself here. We're going to have to stall this combat a bit to make sure she can heal herself, I think. Let's try and stun this, this one again, shall we? Okay, we didn't, we didn't want to crit there, really. Kind of bad that we crit there. Um, let's get a heal in there. Just make sure we... Uh, there we go. Okay, we're good. We just got to be really careful because we can we can take on some pretty heavy damage and we really don't want that. But yeah, like, building up that prot is so valuable. We might as well just do that yes, all the time. Didn't. We're getting a lot of a lot of gold here as well, which is great. Love to see it. Glittering Lots gold. of these. We really don't need Trinkets these at the minute, so I'm just throwing them away. Like, we haven't needed those for a while. I know there's certain buildings that we could build that require them, but they're not, like, the highest thing on my list right now. Um, there you go. Reorder a party. Make sure to reorder these two just so we get that extra holy lance damage. Because if there's an unholy enemy, it's effectively a guaranteed one-shot kill, even if we don't crit. So, ooh, okay, this is a great one to start this off. This guy can be a massive problem. So let's get that going straight away. Oh, no. Okay, that, that's unfortunate, but it's, it's going to happen from time to time. There we go. We come in with a 20 crit anyways, so that's great. Um... And I think we, yeah, we, oh, unfortunately, his dodge is pretty high. Go for another one of those. And yeah, we just start building up these guys. Pro, 20 pro every time we use that, which is insane. That's three rounds of it too. So this is going to be some heavy buffs coming in. We're probably going to take some damage here. We just got to hope that uh, Maria stays away from that damage. Hopefully we should, but there, this guy's got a ton of damage. So what we're going to do is, um, hmm. Maybe we just go for... Yeah, I think I, I gotta say, yeah, we just go for that. I don't think that clears the buffs. Oh, no, it does. Okay, great. Um, go for that again. And just look at this. 40 prop. <laughs> it's just stacking up. And we got that extra unholy damage. That's going to be huge damage here. Beautiful. These two are fantastic together. Absolutely fantastic. horrors. Got to make sure to keep our light up though. Uh, Renault's only getting his bonuses when in the light, so we want to make sure to keep that going as much as possible. But yeah, Maria, 
being being uh, here's our collector. And we got the surprise as well, that's great. Okay, so You don't have any prop, but there you go. That actually bled him. I didn't think it would, but we got him. Oh no. That is something that I did not know about. <laughs> That is something that I did not know about. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to, I mean, it's still good. Nice crit, because we can get it on the next turn. But that's something that I did not think about at all. I should really apply that to myself, actually. Give ourselves the prop. Yeah, that, that, that was something I didn't account for, not being able to hit the back line here, but we should be able to get him now, yeah. That's 25 damage. Okay, so. Just to make sure we're okay, let's build up some prot on ourselves and give ourselves that restoration on Maria, just to make sure. Head games, that's kind of annoying, but we can deal with it. The biggest problem here, just about to say, is is that right there. The, the big crits coming in are going to be dangerous. Um, I think we go for this, try and clear off that, uh, yeah, there you go, clear off that prot. Be careful, Morgana. Show collection, that's okay. Stress coming in, but these guys can deal with it. Okay. Um, let's, kill, let's try and kill you. Unfortunately, not a lot of damage coming in there. Nice kill. I'm taking a risk with Morgana being low health in the back here, but we've got to wait for Maria to have her turn. Nice one. Beautiful. Okay, Morgana should be okay now as long as she doesn't receive another crit. Lifesteal. It's okay, but the heal's more the problem. Um, Let's pull him forward, see if we can pull him. Doesn't often work. There you go, it did though. If uh, Renault can get a hit in there, that'd be great. Nice dodge, Morgana. We're just going to go straight out damage on him. We might actually be able to kill him this turn here. Two health. If he gets another lifesteal in here, I'll be sad. He did get that in though. That's that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, just going to heal myself up again here. I really want to keep that prot up on Maria. She's got such low base HP. Um, let's get another one of them going. Beautiful. That was insanely good. He did get the lifesteal, but he missed. Yes. Okay, we've got this. Fantastic job, Morgana. The others here will be will be eternally grateful for your your help there. Unfortunately, possibly one of the worst things we can get in terms of loot. We don't really need that, but hey her. Let's just take it. And yeah, that was that was very, very well played. I forgot to switch our guys around here, but luckily it didn't end up mattering. Um very, very well played. Morgana essentially essentially saved the team there. I know that they went at too much risk, but giving us that extra opportunity um, to to hit one more time without that guard was fantastic. We're getting a lot of surprises here. I think that's because of Renault's uh, trinket here. Um, um, oh, no. No, it's not. We're just getting lucky. I think it's just because we're high light. Oh, unfortunate miss again there, Renault. It's okay. It's okay. We should be able to clear these guys out pretty easily. Um, your blight resist actually isn't very high. Damn. These guys have high dodge. Um, this actually does good damage. Let's just go for it. Fight coming in there. Nice dodge. These guys are going to get double turns because they have high speed. Actually, no. We, we do have higher speed on Renault here. We should be okay. Yes, good. We are. Finish you off. To the pit. The great thing about having these high speed builds, being able to finish people off like this is so good. And there's that crit. Nice one, Morgana. Web's coming in again. And supply that prop. So good. 20 prot in a single in a single heal. But also heals. Just fantastic. Fantastic. Success. So we keep pushing forward. Or is it and we got we got another one of these the guys. Light. Okay. So unfortunately, I didn't switch our guys around here, which is hugely problematic for us. Unfortunate dodge there. It's okay though. We should be all right. That push could be problematic. Let's see. No, it looks like we're good. Um.
Hmm. We could take a lot of damage here, so let's just get our prop. Let's get our prop going and get that restoration there just in case. Because this could be this could be a lot of uh, a lot of hurt coming our way. Um, go for that a new nice crit, guaranteed stun there, and reducing that prot as well. Very very nice. Okay, nice. You buffed the person that literally doesn't matter if you buff. That's fantastic for us. Um, lower your prot again, shall we? Give you some crits received as well. There you go. Pretty much all your prot's gone now. The stress isn't a big deal. We can. Uh, Renault has nice stress dealing ability, uh, stress reduction abilities here, so we should be okay here. It's these buffs that we're most worried about. But even then, we when we're critting for 45 with Renault, we don't have to worry a single bit, do we? This team's ready. Let's start getting some damage out on this guy here. This cleric dude, the burn bearer, he can indeed re resummon enemies. That's kind of one of his most potent abilities, so. Let's try and take him out as quickly as we can here. I should have gone for the front line there, really, but I, I, I tried. I'm going to take out you rather than the burn bearer, just because it means it's one less enemy to sort of deal with in, one, in, in like a line, in a row. One more, unfortunately. Oh, good. He did what we needed him to. I mean, his damage, this guy's damage is kind of wild now, but his, dam his base damage is pretty low anyways, so adding 25% onto not a lot is still going to result in not a lot. Um, I actually think I'm going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to waste a turn and uh, heal up some stuff here. There we go. That's all right. Six damage and a bleed. Okay, that's, that's a little less desirable. I will get rid of that bleed, actually. And let's finish you off, shall we? There we go, lad. But yeah, what a fantastic team. Ooh, we got this here. Um, Remind yourself that overconfidence is a Plus slow stun and resist, killer. plus debuff skill chance on the Forsaken. Could be decent. Um, let's take it over this, shall we? Probably should have got rid of that first. Let's do that. And let's uh, pop key in here. A fortune. All heirlooms. To be spent. Don't really care that much about them, do we? Hey, we found ourselves our secret room. That's great. Um, quest, quest. So none of these are quests, but we want to go to this secret room anyhow. Okay. Let's see what we end up getting. Uh, how much torches do we have left? 19. I was going to snuff out our torch, but we actually have a decent amount of exploration re left to do, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Let's have a little look. See what we get here. Hey, another three more of these. That's fine by me. I prefer trinkets, but that'll do. So we don't have to go back over that way now. We can actually keep on pressing on towards the quest location here. Uh, we got... Actually, all the quest locations are left are, are these two here. Um, maybe we do want to search a little bit then. Okay, let's let's actually do a little bit more exploration then. Why not? Let's, let's go the extra mile. We are running out of food a little bit here, but of course, Maria no longer needs food. She's a husk. That doesn't worry us too much. The way right. is lit. Gotta remember, I was just about to say, gotta remember that there's a good chance we come across this dude. Glad I didn't have him out, out of position that time. Uh, but, I actually think we should be okay against this guy. What sort of stun resist does he have? Very high, okay. Let's just lower his debuff resist then. Ah, <laughs> he resisted the lowered debuff resist. Ooh, that's not the person we want you to be hitting. And I think she's going to be relatively scared of this guy. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. We don't have any armor piercing on this team. So this is going to be tricky. We should be more than survivable, I think. And we have the, we have the sort of DPS output to get rid of the crystals and such. We'll get um, Rayla to do that. Nice hit. The crits received here is going to be huge, by the way. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Um, Rayla should be able to get this before it pops. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. <laughs> if it pops, this could be bad. But come on, Rayla, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Nice Another one. Cheers. 
cleansed from Get stress going. You've got these buffs going on now. They're, they're pretty much activated now. But we should be able to lower that prot somewhat. The stress is going to be the biggest factor here. And I think we're just going to have to take the stress as it comes. There's not much we can do about it. We don't want to be using Renault to, um, to cure it at all, to be honest. We just want to keep lowering that prot. As much as we can. Aim for the right person there. Thank you. Okay, this is where the damage kind of stops. I've got kind of an idea for what we do next, but I'll have to see how it goes. I think we start doing this. Resisted it, though. Got another one of them going. With impunity. Okay. Things get difficult from here on out. Things get difficult. Um, it's much, even though we're only doing five damage, it's enough. Wow, our stress is really getting up there now. Okay, this minus prot debuff isn't really doing much, is it? Sadly. Okay, can you leave him alone, please? Can we leave him alone? Get the prot on both of you guys. Sadly, Rail is just having to deal the things up front, but... As it, as it is, I think that's kind of how we have to play this. We're doing good damage. I'm just worried about our stress that we're taking. There's six. He's down to 11 HP. So two more rounds of this. We should be good. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get at least one stress check here. Either Maria or Renault. There's the debuff again. Minus that prop. Five HP. That hurts. And that's a stun. Okay, now we've got problems. Yes, okay, we might be alright. Yeah. I had a feeling that was coming. We got the horror. The We're getting a stress returns, check. Even the boldest gaze. But you're dead at least. You're dead at least. 20 shards. It dies in the earth. Um. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. So, I think Renault's getting a stress check here, no matter what we do. Go back through the door, guys. Back through the door. Camp it up. Without kindling. It's a goal without hope. Okay. Right, let's take a little look. So... We got one companion. Okay, this is party minus 10 stress. That's great. Party minus 15. Okay, we've actually got some good stuff here. So I think we start off with this. Then we go with this. Then we go with this. See, that's that's pretty fantastic. Okay, we, we managed to lower stress an absurd amount there. I don't think we have any one use. Oh, we do. Produce a round of supply item. There you go. Give us a key. What the hell? We're still going to be high on stress, the but I feel like we managed that pretty well. Um, and born. essentially, that was my kind of goal of this, of this was to kill the collector and the um, thing from the stars. That's kind of why I brought this party as it is. And considering we only need to do, uh, hopefully, one more fight before we get to our uh, last quest, we can, we can head out of here with heads held high feeling very good about this team and what they have achieved. And I'm sure, I'm sure, both Maria, Renal, and Rayla are all going to be very, very happy with what they have done here. They've, um, they've not only bested the thing from the stars once again, pushed it back further, but they've also worked together and proven, proven that while their bond is, um, it has, hasn't really been as strong for, for that long. But they can still fight side by side and get a job done with no worries at all. Great stuff. So let's let's have a little look. See, do we want to do we want to do anything else here? Um, I'm tempted by it, but I'm not 100 percent sure. We don't actually have to. It might be a little bit of a shorter episode, but I think that we've uh, we've we've achieved a lot here. So let's uh, let's actually get out of here. Um, getting ourselves 20 of these crystals is fantastic. 
Stars in the emptiness of the void. 22,000 there. Rayla up to level 5. Morgana up to level 5. Fantastic for the both of you. Uh, extra damage in the wield. Filthy isn't great. Extra uh, stun resist is very nice here. But yeah, that was that was really, really well orchestrated between the team there. And Morgana just showing off uh, that she that she has a lot more might than, than people may think. I feel like I feel like she's kind of an unsung hero a lot of the time. Um Ooh. The Sun Edged Medal. Plus 50 torch increase on kill party buff target plus one percent virtue chance i was told about this recently and told that it is amazing so we will be taking that um for the golem here this is another new class that we've got going on plus 20 dodge plus three speed minus 25 percent maximum hp for the butcher plus 35 percent damage versus humans not anything amazing there not anything that I, I really i really desperately want to grab there um, nothing I've seen there that's, that's super good. Let's quickly check out other trinkets. So we might have some good stuff here that we might want to grab. Um, I'm, I've always been, like, torn between wanting to maybe buy this. This is pretty good. Plus 15 crit versus bleeding would pair really well with some of the other trinkets. Um, but it's not something I'm going to grab quite yet because these are very expensive. But we do want to look at these um because we have quite a lot now extra healing when eating you got to remember this is good but you got to remember that this takes the slot of um another trinket so we want something that's a bit more generalized that's going to be a bit more useful most of the time so let's take a little look around plus 20 scouting chance if torch is below zero pretty good plus 35 percent scouting chance plus 35 percent chance party surprise that's insane Minus 75% healing skills. Friendly skill. Okay, so you're not going to heal for as much, but when you but when you do, you're going to always apply that. That could work on non-healing classes that just buff people, such as um, such as our Jester. That could be pretty good. Ooh, that's also really good. What do you guys think about the Smoldering Hurricane Lamp? If you guys want to want to get that, let me know. It allows us to prevent nighttime ambush, which we do already have in our last light, but we could always sometimes not use that. And a friendly skill reducing stress and clearing horror could be very useful. Uh, let's check through some of the other class-specific trinkets, though, and see if there's anything here that we really, really want that uh, would affect some of the classes. We still need to use our Voivod, uh, however you pronounce that. We still need to bring out that class. That's another one that I haven't really gotten a good chance to try at yet. But we've got some other new classes here that, that are hopefully coming soon. The Janistry, uh, Extra Restoration Amount, Plied versus Guarded, Bonus to Healing, uh, Friendly Skill with a bit of that, and Self Blight. Okay, interesting. Um, the Buried... We got some we got some interesting stuff here. I'll have to take a little bit more of a deeper look into some of these and maybe maybe make a decision on that. Um Milkmaid on attack hit refresh limited use skills. That's really good because they can use their butterfly thing. And on attack hit buff self with additional HP healed. Again, that's really good. Some very, very good stuff here. Let's let's quickly check on our uh on our stage coach and see if we have anything we want to bring on. Unfortunately, we don't have anything here that we want to bring on. Um all of these are classes that we already have and and are leveled up but either way i think this is going to be a really good place to leave off this episode we're just going to leave it off with one diary entry from tea for aranat exorcist if you remember the exorcist was in cahoots with the friar not in terms of the uprising but he was at least friends with him and spoke of him um fondly today i've been freed my closest to the friar was well known throughout the hamlet so of course after the unexpected brutal assault he led berthold had me bound in the abbey for questioning the interrogation went smoothly, I would say. I did not speak a lie, nor did I raise my voice. I had no part in that little uprising that was led here. I would never do something like that. Now I am free, the first decision I made was to visit the graveyard and see what poor souls had fallen during the attack. An unfortunate handful of dead, brave townsfolk who were part of the mob who tried to fight the heroes. They stood no chance of victory. They must have known that. The only grave I did not visit was the friar himself. He does not deserve any prayer or any visitors. All I can think about is why he did this. He saw something that was led to believe um, that led to believe that I um, I and the heroes were leading this hamlet to hell. If I saw what he saw, would I have done the same? Amazing.
great backstory by uh, diary entry by TA here. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy this. Another great episode, and we got a lot done. And I will see you guys in the next one.